thank you thank you for what you are doing through reverend newton thank you for this glorious work thank you that through him through him we can partake in this in this in this realm of glory oh see baba the body of Christ is not going down. We are rising up. I see an army rising up. I see an army coming from the other side of the desert. I see them. I see them. I see them coming. I see them coming. I see sons and daughters. I see young at the age. I see them. I see them. Oh my God. 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 The army of the dawn is coming. The army of the dawn is coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Please clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, you may have your seats. Thank you so much. First and foremost, we want to thank our Heavenly Father for this great gathering. Hallelujah. It's a great gathering not because of us. It's a great gathering because they that are with us are more than they that we can see. Hallelujah. We are not just in the midst of angels. The Hebrews writer said, you have come to my Zion. In the midst of innumerable angels, we have, we, have, we, we have gone beyond that. We have come to a place where there are elders here. Elders in the realm of the spirit to ordain, to impart, and to call. Hallelujah. Um, I sincerely, profoundly, and with all my heart, and with great humility, I would like to thank Reverend Newton. Hallelujah. You know... I, I connected with Reverend Newton not because of platform, in all sincerity. I, was, I, I just started the ministry work and I felt I'm doing everything I could do. I didn't know my left, I, I didn't know what was happening, but then I saw his ministry on Facebook. And when I listened to what he was teaching, I said, Ah, there's somebody who loves Jesus. Let me look for him. So I decided to look for him. And I'm, I'm not standing here as a fellow man of God in all humility. I want him to know that he who was before me, he who is above is above all. And he who was before me, you know, physically we may look the same. But for you to labor in ministry for five years, <laughs> no matter the gathering I may have today, it's not about gathering because you can gather in a certain location, you will not gather in a certain location. It's about faithfulness. So I want him to know, I've said it to him in private and I'm saying it here. He is not my brother in ministry. He's my senior brother in ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. And maybe I don't have any bigger word than the word senior. But, you know, anytime I come to Beautiful House Ministry, I learn so much. The excellence they put behind their work, media, teamwork, when their coordinator called me, the ethics and the way she even talks, you, you, you understand that this is somebody, this is somebody who has been, who has been well trained. Yeah. When I see Pastor Prince, how, how he works. Man of God, you are, you, you are, you've done a great job. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to use the opportunity to thank all the men of God here. You know, if I had my own way, I would just have taken Pastor Tio with me to my church. Hallelujah. Not that I don't have good people in my church. My church members are the best people out in the world. Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we laugh, but we don't always laugh. We have our own issues. But I believe they are the best people God has given to me. Hallelujah. But you know, when I see Pastor, anytime I see Pastor Tio, I feel very relaxed. It's like when I seems like everything will be fine. Hallelujah. May God bless.
Pastor Tio. And may God bless the wife of Pastor Tio. Hallelujah. We, we need to give the woman of God offering. We need to give her offering. Is it powerful? Wow. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. I have about one or 30 minutes, so we are going to learn quickly. Amen. Please, let's turn our Bible to Isaiah 51 verse 4. Isaiah 51 verse 4. Verse 4. Isaiah 51 verse 4. Isaiah 51 verse 4. I have been given the opportunity to talk on the theme attending to the call of God upon your life. Isaiah 51 verse 4 it says, give attention. Is Okay, this NLT. Do we have King James or ESV? Um, okay, okay. New King James says, listen to me. I want the version that says give attention. It says, listen to me, my people, and give ear to me, O my nation. For, for law will proceed from me, and I will make my justice rest as a light of the peoples. Wow. It's a beautiful verse. It says, give attention to me, give attention to me, my people, and give ear to my na- give ear to me, my nation. For a law will go out from me, and I'll set my justice for a light to the peoples. Hallelujah. You know, this is Isaiah speaking on behalf of God. Amen. And Isaiah goes to the people and he's speaking to individuals and he's speaking to a nation. Amen. And Isaiah is trying, this verse is bringing, it's highlighting the fact that the people are engaged in something. The people are focused on something. The people are busy about something. But it's like, the Lord needs their attention. Amen. You know, we are, I'm talking about attending to the call of God. When you get to, it's like, what? to attend to the call of God upon your life is to give attention to something. It's like you are, you are in your room cooking rice. You are using a normal stove and you're on the phone. By virtue of the fact that there is rice on the stove, it is likely that a certain, your attention will be on the food on the fire. Because if you don't put your attention there, it's likely you get there and the food is what's bent. Amen. So when we are called or when we are being asked this morning to attend to the call of God upon our life, basically, the Holy Spirit is asking that, look, there is something very important aside your everyday life. School, marriage, career, business activities. And that thing, it looks like you have not given attention to it. Hallelujah. So this one, what are we going to learn? Number one, I don't have much time. Number one, number one, there is a call. The first thing about attend, the first thing I want us to know that there is a call. Matthew 22 verse 14. There is a call. There is a call. You see, today in the body of Christ, Matthew 22 verse 14, for many are called, but few are what? Chosen. So there is a call. Generally, there is a call. Everybody say there is a call. You see, today in the body of Christ, in this age of technology and social media, many of you, today you see online prayer, 100 people, 200 people, 300 people, 500, 1,000 people have gathered. But all our gatherings, it, is, it doesn't give attention to the call of God. Once upon a time, five people gathered and, uh, and there is a revival that bet a call of thousands of people to nations. But today, 5,000 people gather and there is nothing that drives us to the call, the general call. This is God. This is God standing at circle. And he's standing on the overhead and he's shouting, my people, Israel, my people, Ghana, many are called. I'm calling many. It is either we have heard the call or we've not heard. Until we come to the place where we accept that there is a call, the church activities, I don't know what Christianity will mean and what it is about. Because I don't see the difference between you sitting here this morning, me talking to you and somebody at Gimpa. Is there any difference? There's no difference. So there, there must be something that differentiates. There is a call. And 
most when you when you watch christian event today it's like there is a call but it's like we are being called to something come and be blessed come for visa come for marriage come for car come for shoe come for brazilian hair come for makeup come for iphone now people are even sharing money in the in the church charlie pastors we have to get some money and share some more. people eh, you have to share some money oh very soon to move from city to dollar to pounds hey, and very soon to move from people be sharing houses and cars the cars is even happening already yeah. you are here sharing what what are you sharing gospel tracts that is why the people are not coming to your church oh, hey hallelujah there is a call there is a call generally somebody i've heard many people say uh, many people say ask for me i am not called to do or oh, ask for me what i want to understand there is a call we come to church we pray we fast there is nothing wrong with having have, um, your desire to achieve things in the mundane world pursuing life but in pursuing life what i want to remind you is that there is a call isobel kun is a, was a missionary to thailand and isobel kun said it is not god who does not call it is not god who does not call it is men and women who will not respond to the call Another missionary say, say that don't say that there is no call. Maybe you have no head. There is a call. So once there is a call, the question is that if I stand here, if I stand here, you know, when we're in secondary school, you can stand and say that one form one boy. Once you say one form one boy, the form twos are what? Exempted. You understand? But if I come to the form one dormitory and I said, anybody here to fetch me water? somebody be at the corner and the person would do like i have not what head uh, but it is likely that the first person standing in front of the senior for fear will say okay senior let me go and fetch the water hallelujah today the body of christ is make, making look as though oh our god is just a god it's like a jackpot it's like our god excuse my language like a betting center come and catch money come and catch things and there's nothing no there is a call there is a call there is a call there is a call hallelujah number two number two don't, don't don't tell us that don't tell don't come and tell us that they should go and find something proper to do there is a call we and we are about the call hallelujah the call you see the call of human life is not just doctor and lawyer and and, 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 and a banker or a nurse or a teacher that is not just about the human life if you are not a christian and you are not part of the christian faith and the world to come you can be in that state but so long as you come to this kingdom this kingdom that jesus christ he bought with his blood there is a call there is a call our pastors must tell us our elders must tell us we must share don't don't be excited about sensation so I go to church here and when my people we gather we are 5,000 people we pray when we stand in eternity those things they are chaff Maria would what Etta no Emma Max simple was waiting on God he said Lord I want to go to Bible school this and that and that then I'll respond to the call then he said whilst you are waiting many people are perishing go now and I'll be with you look there is a call there is a call and the, you know the power of the call the power of the call is Pentecost Methodist, Presby, Anglican, because some people recognize there was a call, and that call it has materialized into something. You are on an a castle campus because there was a call, and that call has manifested. It is a great call. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number two, number two, number one, there is a call. Number two, there is a personal call. There is a personal call. First Corinthians 1:26. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.26 First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.26 My God Mama Sibahaba Le Soma Chibaha Kasimahada Pure Foshe Semevo I say remember dear brothers and sisters Are there some brothers and sisters here? That few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when God called you what version is NLS? No, I don't like this version. I need another version. Who is attending to this? Can you give me King James? It say, it say, huh? For you see your what? For you see your what? 
So the year, let's let's if we decide to put your for no for let like you if you decide to put your name, watch what um please watch your name. Elam. So they'll put Elam here. For Elam, see your what? For Elam, see your what? For Elam, see your what? There is a personal call. There is a personal call. It is not only Reverend Newton who has been called. It is not only Bishop Dakiwad Moose who has been called. It is not only Art Bishop who has been called. It is, it, there is a personal call. Don't mind the people who, don't mind the voice of Satan behind the world trying to make us feel like anything concerning working for God and priesthood, it is useless. It, it doesn't make sense. What makes sense? Kabila is gone. Enkroma is gone. Susie is gone. Kojoba Red is gone. Princess Diana is gone. Atamels is gone. What makes sense? What makes sense? I want you to know that there is a personal call on you. And you know, I'm, that's what I'm trying to hurry up with my teaching. You know, I, have f- I have 50 things to share. But I can't share 50. I'll share 10. Hallelujah. Then hopefully I'll talk to you about, about 10 types of calling. Then you know your call also. There is a personal call. So the, the question is, what are you doing about your personal call? Do you know that most of the time, the, 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 when the prophet is speaking on the Holy Spirit moves, he will speak, oh Israel, oh what? Israel, general call. But then there are times you come and mention people's name. Zacchaeus, come down. Zacchaeus, come down. So, 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 so. It was personal. He said, Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. It was, you know, Jeremiah's life was open and the, it, it, it was so personal and so intimate. God begins to highlight on it a personal call. What are you going to do? You see, it, 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 the, the, the reality of a personal call is, it, it, I'll, t- I'll, I'll get you to another point. The reality of a personal call is that you have been given a talent. Some have one, some have two, some have three. So it's not just about man of God. Me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, 20 years. Me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, 25 years. Me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, 30 years. Me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, 40 years. Me and Kasa, I know I'm called. Oh, because you have children, they are twins. Because you know, me say to my uncle Ponsa, I'm so. But you say, we are still proud of me. Because I don't know why I make my mind. Hey, listen, you, 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 you on your way to the grave. But if man of God, if only we're going to the grave, there's no issue. But the Bible says that there will be judgment, and He will call you. What's your name? Gifty, beautiful Gifty. The Lord will call you in your glory, and He said, Gifty. I gave you one talent. I gave you two talents. I said, oh, you, you were supposed to sing. I said, you, your main call was Sunday school. There is a personal call on your life. But today, the body of Christ, I'm walking in power. Boom, boom. I'm walking in miracle. I live a life of favor. Hey, come and give a testimony. Oh, God, man of God. The Lord has done great things. You know, I've been praying. Uh, it's for 13 years. And ever since I joined your prayer platform, oh, my God, two days ago, they called me for the visa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. Hey. Then God is, your, your personal call is there. Oh. I say, your some of you, some of you, your, some, you see, what you don't know is that the world has, call, the world has called you and God has called you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah said, the Bible, and Jonah went to Tarshish to what? To trade. It was a worldly call. He left God's call, his personal call to go to Tarshish. Today, the church, you know, about three years ago, I had a vision. In this vision, I saw the body of Christ and I saw a lineup of, of temples and many churches the priests and the people they have come out of the temple and were sitting in front of the temple and they were trading yeah you know anytime i travel i i don't like when i travel i become sad i was with uh, one of the ladies in my church a very good lady grace clap for grace for me this morning then when we're coming we passed through in sawam to ebri and i kept asking her 
all these people are in the world. Then when I get to a place, hey, so all these people, are their names written in the book of life? Are they say they will go to another town, they will go to another town. It worries me. It bed, it I, then I become helpless. I said, Lord, we can do little. So can you imagine the states now? You are not responding to your call. And when you go and stand before God, 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 you don't remember me. I'm the one who used to dance. Oh, Pastor, but, but God, it's not me. Oh, Pastor, uh, Reverend Newton said my calling is to clap, clap, clap. So I started clapping, clapping. Wow, there is a personal call. Number three, number three. Eternity minded. Be eternity minded. Be eternity minded. Be eternity minded. Hallelujah. Revelations fourteen, verse thirteen. Revelation 14, verse 13. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the spirits, that they may rest from their labors, and their works to follow them. Wow. Do you know the part I like about this verse? He says, He said, Write. Then he said, Do you know the person who is saying it's right? Do you know the person who is saying it's right? The spirit. The world will not say these things to you. The world will not say to you. The world will say the climax of your life is soon. It's about worldly achievement. You know, recently I was in Accra. I was around despite holding my bag, doing something. Then somebody held me. So I was like, ah, who is this? I was a bit scared. Then when the person held me, the person started giving me funds. No, some years ago, I went to, I packed all my things. So I packed my dress and I went to Jamestown. I went to look for, I said, give me a room. It was a wooden room. I, was, I stayed there for like one year. I, I was doing evangelism every evening. I was going to stand by where they are, altars are. I look, one day I preached that I, somebody appeared in a vision. Whether I was sleeping on, the person appeared physical to me. The person said, it was a, a fetish print, white, white, with powder and something. He said, and he started speaking in God. And the person disappeared. This was a guy that when I was laboring my evangelism work, I led him to Christ took him to church, talked to him about Bible, talked to him about water baptism, Holy Spirit baptism, serving God. And when he saw me, I have left long ago, but blessed are they who die in the Lord for their works, what? It does follow them. He, he, not only did he recognize me and came to me, whatever I was doing in Accra, the guy was with me till I finished everything. It, he followed me. He followed me. We are not internal minded. We, the eternity has been taken away from the church. The gospel, the message of the pulpit today, we, we have mixed secularism with the Bible. So that is why we quote the word of God with Jack Moore. We quote the word of God with Steve Jobs. That is why we can preach everything, but we cannot preach the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him pick up his cross. It's rare. We don't hear these things. Jesus said, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't hate mother, father, son, you cannot follow me. There are hard things. Their heart is, and we are all our mind this year. We do why are we fighting in ministry? People fight over churches and members and money in churches. It is all because we are not conscious of the fact that look, it will not be long we we'll stand before the a monarch of the universe. When you are internally minded, number one, there is a call, then you know there is a personal call on you. That how you respond to the personal call, you are responding to the personal call of God upon your life because there is something ahead of you. The Bible talk of Moses. He said he did not fear the kings in Egypt. He didn't fear. For he looked forward to seeing him who is invisible. He endured as seeing who is invisible. We go through hard times. We go through pain. We persist. We labor. We remain faithful because we are conscious of eternity. There was a queen called Queen Margaret. She, she had pomp. She had fame. She had everything. She was a queen of Scotland. She had power. She had beauty. She had everything. And the Bible, she was he, she, true story. She was dying. They had gone to Asia, Africa, trying to get medicine for her. When they came, they said, "Queen, sorry, Queen, we didn't get the medicine, unfortunately." Then the Queen said, "No, no, I don't want to die. 
I don't want to die. But she was going to die. She had power. She had horses. She had castles. She had wine and she had beauty and fabric. She had horsemen and she had everything. And she said, no, I don't want to die. You know, at that same time, there was a missionary to Burma. His name was Adoniram Judson. Adam Jusson was a graduate student. His father was a priest. He gave up and went to Burma and labored for God. He too was sick. And as for Adoniram, they found the medicine in Africa. When they brought the medicine to Adoniram room, when the people came, said, Ad, Mr. Missionary, thank your God, we found medicine. He said, no. He said, Adoniram Jesus said, no, don't give me medicine. Don't give me medicine. I bound towards the gate. Do you know I bound? Have you seen a child who is coming back from school? And the mother is standing at the gates. And he's with such excitement. He said, I bound towards the gate of eternity. But the queen of England was shivering. He was, he was shivering like a pig. You see, pig, when you want to kill them, they, shiver, they will not allow you. They are sleeping. But a lamp, a lamp will die quickly. You see, when your life, eh, you have responded to the personal call of God on your life. And you have lived it so well. And you have become a profitable servant. And you have done it in truth and integrity and in righteousness. And you have done it in the way that honors God. And brings glory to eternity. I tell you, eternity is a different level for you. People don't look forward to it. I look forward to eternity. I went to Willingsy. I, I went to, we went to Willingsy in the northern region. It cost us a lot of money to go and come. We didn't... When I came back, like it cost money. As I speak to you right now, I'm sending them, I'm sending 15, 15 teaching series, foundational teachings. What is salvation? Six tenets of salvation. The Christian and the Bible. The Christian and quiet time. Why fellowship? The Christian and the kind of company. We are sending teachers each, each of a 15 series. Each of these series is 1,000 copies. We are taking them to the press. press. Next month, I'm sending five teaching series. I am not doing it because I'm looking for offering anything. But I'm doing it. I believe what Jesus said. That lay up not for yourself. Treasures on earth. Lay it not up. Yeah. You, you don't believe the Bible? Watch Turkey. You don't believe the Bible? Watch Syria. Have you seen cars? Have you seen houses? Have you seen millionaires? People's, people have labored for their own earthly core for 30 years and 50 years. And just an earthquake of 30 seconds, it's all gone. When the Bible says that, lay up, no, lay up not for yourself treasures on earth. You won't respond to your personal call because you are not eternity minded. And many of you, you are listening to men, people, I don't even know whether they are men of God, they speak for God or they speak for the world. And they, they, are, they are giving you things that feeds the flesh, that feeds lust for the world. We have become, Christians have become lustful. We lust the world. We see car, ah, we see perfume, ah, shoes. We lust for the world, but we, we are not hard about Bible. We are not hard about holiness. We are not hard. We are not hard. We are not hard about the church and the kingdom of God. Yeah. The other day, I went online and somebody says he's a priest and he has allocated time. Two hours, three hours. What is he doing? He is teaching forest trading. I'm telling you. And, in, and it, it makes sense. You know, the kingdom is about money. And you know, if you don't have money, really? I don't do forest trading, but the Lord provides. The Lord provides. The Lord provides. Go and read the book of, go and read Malachi. Malachi, is, Malachi, he said he will purify. He said, he said, Malachi, he said, he said he will send a priest. He's, a time will come where he, he will purify the sons of life. He will purify the people. That the offering they even give to him, it will be offering of righteousness. And when you are not eternity minded, you become earthly minded. We become earthly minded. We are too earthly minded. We are too earthly minded. My car, my shoe, my career. What about your call? What about your call? What would have happened? Bishop Dakiot Mills was a medical doctor. He came from a very rich home. He could have gone to Harbridge, Cambridge, everywhere. And he would have had a big hospital and he would have made a lot of money. But the question is that on the other side of eternity, what would have been the story? Over 5,000 churches in over 100 countries. People lifting their hand in Swahili, in Philippines. People lifting their hand in Madagascar. People lifting their hand in Papua Guinea unto God. And this is somebody sitting in Accra, Kanto and he has a lot of respect. And church, church members will even respect him more than a priest. Oh, sir, thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. When they see their pastor, 
Charlie, make you go. You don't worry. It is this time that you don't respect us. I said it is only in this season. No, a man was dying. True story. The guy was there. He said, my dad was passing away. Then he called all of us. His sons we were four. He said, come to the hospital. When we called there, my brothers, one was an um, engineer, um, architect, doctor, lawyer. I was depressed. Then my father blessed all of us. Then my father said, come. I was depressed. He said, come. Then my father held my hand by the bedside. For 30 minutes, my father was holding my hand and my father was crying. His eyes was wide open. And I didn't, it's like my father had seen something. But he couldn't speak. And all that he started saying was that you saw it. You were wise. You were wise. You made the right decision. You made the right decision. You saw it. You were wise. I tell young people, I tell my people from JRC, save God. Pursue your personal call. Ah, we are, we are, we are not eternity minded. That is why today we don't hear about heaven and hell. No, no, we don't hear about heaven and hell. I can assure we don't. The message of heaven and hell is not there. That things, you see, that me like this, I mean, apart from Bishop, like what Mills, I don't, a lot of things doesn't impress me. A lot of things doesn't impress me. Because I'm telling you, the human race is dying, you know. People are perishing, you know. Attend to the call upon your life by thinking about eternity. Sister, sister, eh? brother, eh? that's my American now. Eh? But I'm going to heaven and I'm going to eternity. Charlie, on your girl and on your wife, Mrs. Oya When you read Rick Jonah's book, the, the final, the, the, uh, the final quest, there was a place where Rick Jonah, the, Rick Jonah went to a place, the white throne room. And on that right throne room, Jesus was standing. Now, even now in the realm of spirit, Jesus stands. He is not sitting yet. Yeah, even though the Bible says he shall be made to sit at the right hand of his father, the time has not come. And Jonah said on his left, on his right, were thrones. And he said, one of the things he said that there were a lot of women on the throne. And Jesus said, These are mothers who prayed for their children to save me and to love me. And he said, He saw Apostle Paul. And he, saw, he said, Before you go to the throne, you don't read. That is why you don't even respond to the call on you. He said, When he got to the, he was walking through the, he met a man. And listen, the man said, When he was on earth, he had a big ministry, he had fame. But when he got to heaven, he was not on the throne. And you know, the man himself told you, John, I'll go read the book. He told you that God gave me a big ministry, but I started doing the ministry after my wife, who was so much inclined to worldliness. So I wanted politicians, bankers, business sophistication. So if it's fornication, I won't say fornication. I won't, I won't preach those things. I won't talk about hell. You know, this morning I want to talk to you about seven seven spiritual principles for excellence it sounds so powerful and everybody was hailing him and he was nominated among the top 10 hundred influential people in the world but in eternity charlie it was all baller oh oh people are looking at you what you are doing on earth the, the, the angels are looking at you and you say that away everybody away Weighing you because it doesn't matter there. Number, number what? Number four. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Number four. Are we learning? Number four. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Number four. Um, number four. The call. The call. Number, number, number what? Four. Attend to the call by attaining maturity. Everybody say maturity. Everybody say maturity. Amen. Are we there? Are you there? Attend to the call by what? Attaining what? Let's turn our Bible to... Um, Efficiency. Oh, no, let's go to Colossians chapter 1, verse 28. What did I write here? Colossians chapter 1, verse 28. Okay, it says, Whom he preached, warning every man 
and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ. Another version says, mature. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you seen, have you seen a one year, have you seen a one year and a two year, a one year boy and a two year girl having sex before? Oh, don't do like, you don't know what I'm talking about. Sit up, I'm talking to you, I'm talking about sex. Have you, have you seen anything like that before? Eh? You know, you see, you do what I ask those who are virgins. Then the whole church will be some way. If I church, if I ask, all the place will be cool like cemetery. Me now, we now, we know ourselves. Look at them and say, brother, we know ourselves. So you, we don't want to talk much. Hallelujah. Hey. Good. You see, it is not, it will not happen. A one year baby, a child having sex, it's not possible. And you see, in the natural order, when a man and a woman meet in a marital home of intimacy, they produce. Hallelujah. Yeah, they produce. Hallelujah. You know, I, I remember when I told my wife, I'm going to marry her. I told her, I'm marrying you. I'm marrying I'm marrying Reverend Newton said, church is made. I told her, I'm marrying you. I'm marrying you. I'm she was single. She was slim like something. And she was so, like, she had beautiful color. Beautiful. When I see her legs, then something is doing me. No, a lot of things were, were doing me. Uh, so one day I, I told her, do you know what? You can't come to my house. Because, you know, I didn't, I wanted, I desired to do it, but I didn't want to do it. Because I know that if I do it, uh, I can't preach. You know, if I do it now, and maybe I'm preaching about fornication, she'll look at me in the church some way. Mm, also. So I said, God help but whenever I'm praying, when I'm praying, then the feelings are coming. Hush. No, this flesh is not good, though. When, when I'm praying, even when I'm fasting, I've gone to the seventh day of the fasting. That by this time, I should be seeing angels. Then I'm seeing my, my, my girlfriend's legs. So one day, I called her for a meeting. I said, do you know what? You are getting married. And that time, I didn't have a job. She said, but you don't have a job. I said, and I said, we are getting married. And I said, okay, I'm going to tell my mom. When you want to tell my mom, my, my mother in law said, Oh, catch my contact muscle say, When you want to say, Me call me, me, me Europe, me buy first one, me person me a shopping man. I said, Tell your mother, say, Well, my young warrior, Charlie, I will die. I'm suffering. <laughs> hey, then we went to my, are you there? Oh, the ladies don't understand. Are there some brothers here? God bless all the brothers. Hallelujah. Then one went for counseling. We we're going for counseling. When you, my wife came back, he said, her church people say the counseling is six months. I said, for where? I should wait six months. How many, how many, how many months make a day? Let's say average 25 days. Let's make 30. So 30, that is 30 days, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. By the time I'll get to the first quarter of the trimester, I'm finished. So I married. When we married to after look, it's not easy. Oh. When he said married man, respect him or her. Oh. When we married to, we've gone for married uh, uh, reception. The reception. They should hurry up and let me go with my wife. Then it's all come. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. Then we mess up. See, these things they are not necessary. We finish. Please let me go. I beg you, let me go. It's not let me go. We finish. Then they brought, they brought a Mercedes Benz. Time up. Then when we sat at the back of the Mercedes, and they owned it, I said, my God. You know, I'm trying to bring the point. Now my wife has three boys. Hallelujah. Listen. If you want to attain the call of God upon your life, you need to. There are things for you to bear fruit. You need maturity. And I'm not talking about physical maturity. I'm talking about spiritual maturity. You want to lead worship and praise. You don't have quiet time. You don't fast. You don't read Christian books. You can't, you don't, not once in a year do you even come for camps like this. You won't grow. And you see, many of you, your physical man, man is a spirit, has a soul, is on earth in the body. The, the outer you, 
has grown so much that is why you succumb to the things of the flesh and the things of the world and anything of the spirits and the things pertaining to the core it becomes hard and the reason why many of us we are not attaining maturity i look at people you know recently i met a guy some young guy ucc and he said he's on what he has some bb youth student some 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 something as the guy is talking as the guy is talking i can say that the guy is he's, he doesn't have way he's like paper like flat but he's in a hurry to do things so there is no impact bishop like god knows he said when they started at church at Collegono, every midnight 11 a, 11 a.m he go and stand at the Collegono beach lord let your will be done one hour Shalabala, bala, bala, bala. he said there are times you lock up himself in a room he pray 20 hours for church growth you say you have recognized there is a call of God upon your life and you want to rise up. But you realize that you are not making progress because you are not maturing. But why, why are the Christian books you are reading? The average Christian spends a day about three to four hours on TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp. And do you know that when you open Instagram in Africa, the content that comes is different when you open Instagram in Asia. The content that comes to Africa is full of jokes. <laughs> in all be juju be this. Oga, Oga Steve, is a mega enter? A enter a go tenka? Ah! Then we are laughing. But when you go to, you know, when you go to Europe and all that, when they open TikTok, what comes is educative things, witty things, development, tech. But in Africa, in the same way, many of you, you don't read your Bible. The last time I came to Anakazo campus, I went to the bookshop. I bought books, seven million. I took seven million to buy books. I have books in my car. I have book on my tablet. I have book in my bedroom. I have book everywhere. Every single day I pray. Every single day I have quiet time. Every single day I read my Bible. Every single day I'm listening to a man of God. I'm listening to Bishop Dak. I'm listening to Derek Prince. My wife used to talk to me about staying healthy, but I felt, oh, everything is okay. Then one day I listened to Derek Prince where he said he had done so much for God's work. Then he went to wait on the Lord for the next level. And the Lord told me that if I am going to use you greatly for the next level, you need to take care of your health. And he said, and the Lord told me that without good health, you can't do anything for me. When I heard it, it revolutionized how I think about my health. You know, first night, first when you're going on, I tell my, let's go and buy KFC. Now I go and buy chicken. And chicken. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My kids to support me. Daddy, thank you. Love you, daddy. My other son, daddy, I love you. Mwah, mwah, thank you. Chicken. Then when my wife comes on, I go and buy them chicken. When my wife comes, they say, you mommy, you see daddy, when daddy say, he bash chicken, he bash yogurt. We're enjoying. But I realize, so now I don't eat outside of it. My wife, my wife blend, my wife blend juices for me, watermelon. Oh, ginger, garlic. Oh, chale, oh, oh, yeah, me duro, oh, yeah, me duro, oh, yeah, me duro. Oh, yeah, me duro. Yesterday, even like this, I was drinking some. And I could feel the ginger passing through my nose. Ah! My God, when I open the fridge, chale, chale, why did the tilapia still be? Now carrots and one said, I'm being the brain tonight. There or the demit, it come it, on, it, it's so there. I said, it, said it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Look at neighbor, say neighbor, chale for Mario. Tell him, chale, Jesus, go fit come next week. Oh. He go pay you. Oh, yee! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Why is it that there is no maturity in the body of Christ today? Maturity basically means discipleship. Jesus said we should go into the world and disciple. Once you are discipled, you can have the potency. The Bible said not a novice. Not a novice. Hallelujah. But the greatest problem we face in our dispensation is that 95% of the body, people, young people like you are in the church, have I know it all? You see, the fact that you look called, the fact that you look called, the fact that you look like a woman with breasts and hips doesn't mean you may necessarily give, get pregnant. You didn't hear me. I have people I'm praying for, she has breasts, hips, color, everything, but she's not getting pregnant. The fact that you look called, you look thick tall, and now you do some online prayer meetings. You say, ah, I've reached there. You have not reached there. We don't, we don't achieve discipleship. When you read, there was a book where, Peter, uh, in Regina's book, Apostle Paul was speaking to Regina. And he said, 
one of the greatest things that is missing is discipleship in the body of Christ. Yeah. In my book, in my book, Verses for the Harvest, I, I quoted all that place. Yeah. The reason why you are not being discipled is because, it, do you know the reason? It's not, it's simple. It is because you are not available. You are not available. Ah, if you, if my church, I try to do leadership training, when the people come, when many of them, when they come and sit there, it's like, I'm in a hurry to go. If you're in a hurry to go, how can I train you? How can I train you? Do you know the more? Do you know where, when I started growing my prayer life? As I'm standing here, when I want to know you have weight in the spirit, it's not, if you quote me 10 scriptures, it's easy to quote scripture because even the Bible says, knowledge puffs up. Come and let's pray. When I start to pray with you, we'll get to one hour. When we get to our fourth hour and you're on your feet and we get to our fifth hour, I will know you're waiting in the spirit. When there's an issue in your life that is pressing and you are able to overcome it, smoke, you are not available. The average Christian, look, do you know the difference between a church like Lighthouse and your church that you despise, you look down upon? It's because in Lighthouse, they understand that Sunday is working day. I was just yesterday, I was just listening to Bishop Dak about church growth or something. He was talking about, he was, he, you know, Bishop Dak has of teaching the same thing. He will say it ever, ever again. And he's saying that you must understand the lighthouse culture. That's why we're making progress. People leave Sunday morning home and they tell their parents that, Mommy, I'll get back at 9, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. I'll be at church. Because for you to be, for you to attain maturity, you have to be, for a baby to grow, you have to be fed milk and milk and milk. When my baby was two months or something, my wife feed him at a certain interval. He doesn't feed my baby just once in the morning. No, he's you feed him. There's an interval of breast milk at this interval, they give again. But you, you, the training material, what will cause you to grow and bear fruit and respond to your call? It is, it is once in a month. How even camp, we have to beg you. Even camp, you, you, you have quiet time so that you don't feel guilty because your pastor said have quiet time, not because you want to achieve some growth. You don't, as much as you don't even read your Bible, some of you are here because you're looking for fun. You are here because you, you've heard of an account and you want to come and see and take pictures. You are not looking for maturity. You, you are not looking for maturity. You know in your heart you are not looking for maturity. That is why you would think what I'm saying is nonsense. But tomorrow, if, tomorrow, if you're two of us, you are coming to die. And both of us are standing at the edge. You will see that how you will regret. These so-called celebrities that you are fond of, they, they are boasting with cars and water bags and shoes. They, they don't have two pieces. So. They, are work, they don't have to. Nobody has the world's goods and has true, true peace. We are not available. If we say, some of you are saying, if you say, oh, we are standing at the meeting, we are going to pray. I'm tired. And you've changed your mood. And anytime your spirit is not receiving, if it, when, anytime your spirit is not receiving, whatever is imparted to you, it doesn't go. You're not available. You see? And when I talk of being available, it's not just come to a camp meeting, formal training, we are talking to you about the word of God. Your pastor is going to so say, come, let's go. It is ministry training. Yeah, your pastor is going for a meeting. He says, "Let's go, pastor. You know I can't come. You know my boss can't. It is not that you can't come. It is that you have no given because if it is your engagement, you can come. If your brother is sick, you can go. If you are come to marry, you can do it. But this one, you don't value it. Yeah. Do you know where I started? I used to pray. I used to work at Temahabo, and I used to I used to go to work five by five thirty. I'm at my boss' place." Then I closely sleep in it. When it's my lunch time, one hour. When everybody's going to eat, I'll go and stand in the beach. And people are passing and look mad. I, I, I wanted it. I wanted to match you. I used to hear Bishop Black saying that he prays and this. When I hear it, something that said, Hey God, I'm joking. I want to buy a alarm clock and I started. I said, This week I'm going to learn how to pray 30 minutes. After the following week, I said, For this week I'm going one hour. So now, I, as I'm standing, I can stand on my feet and pray 10 hours. Yeah. I, when I, that time I start prayer at 7 a.m. in the morning, I end 4 p.m. because I'm going to pick my children from school. Yeah. Then you think not a novice. Many of you, you are not available. And you are not available. You, you, you are not, when you say, come for me, you're in high, why are you going? You say you have a call. What are you going to do? You say that you, many, many of you sitting now, so you're sitting here hoping that, oh, I wish I am the one teaching like this young man teaching. I've been given the pulpit. The Holy Spirit will not pick you. The Bible says, when the word of God has been written into your mouth, then you prophesy to nations. Some of you, the, some of you, even revelations is not in your mouth. John is not in your mouth. Maturity is not there. When you are mature, you speak wisdom. When you are mature, you have issues. You know history. You know fact. Things are embedded in you. And you, you have not grown. 
You are not available. You are available for my brand kitchen. I do not have one. My brand kitchen, yeah. In another for Saturday, area, we need my brand, yeah. And then we need my brand. I couldn't have one. I see a boy, potogum, potogum, potogum. Hey, potogum. I could say we don't have time. Sleeping, sleeping. Chelsea, La Liga, Ronaldo, MPP, NDC. Where is Pastor Prince? Pastor Prince is not here. My time, how many minutes? When, when I see Pastor Prince, when I see Pastor Prince, I see somebody who has been refined and growing somewhere. Why, why I see there? Why has he got into that place? He become a fine, great man of God. Amen. Why has he got into that place? He has been available. When they said, come to Anakazo Bible School, he said, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm doing my, my, my job. You are doing your job. Charlie, 2030, if you don't see with 4 by 4 we will laugh at you. You didn't hear me. I said 2030, if you don't see with 4 by 4 we will laugh at you. Well, what have you gotten? There's a call on you. It will cost you. You have to give up something to get something. Bishop Dak had to give up his career. That is why Anakazo is here. Do you think Anakazo came from the heaven? Yeah. Big people sit down and stay the three hours. They read their Bible. I used to, look, I have, I have, in, when you go on my laptop, I have about 50 virgin books I have not published. Do you know when I wrote them? I wrote them about eight years ago. When my, there, are day, there was days when I picked my Bible, the book of John. I read the book of John. John from chapter 1 to the end. I'll read five times sitting down. There are times I'll read my Bible so much. It's like light is coming out of my Bible. The morning when I wake up, I will see a stadium. In, I'm sitting down. There's like a stadium, huge stadium with books and books to be pulled out. Sometimes like somebody's, it, like, it, it comes out of me. One day I was in the program and the person said, ah, I had a vision about you and I saw you in your hall and I saw that heavens were open and books were falling on you. Do you think it comes by what? Maturity. 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 And for you to attain maturity, you need to be available. If I meet my wife right now and I say, is that sex? Is that sex? We need time. We need a place. Hello, baby. When I see my heart moves. Please don't let me see your fingers. My, my heart will move to my left. And when you know when it moves to this side, it can't kill me. When you blink your eye, my hands become wet. Just when you held my hand, my, did you see my legs trembling? Yeah. It will take time. But we are not available. You, you, you are not available. Look, I, I used to, I would take a, a preaching of Bishop Dak. I'll watch it. I'll rewind. I'll watch. I'll watch. I'll watch. It will take time. But somebody said, Pastor, Pastor, you know, you know, things have changed. We go to work. We are busy people. Pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. Hallelujah. Number what? Please, uh, please, I have how many minutes more? I have 26 minutes more. You said I have 26 minutes more. No, no, no. Amen. Number what? Number five. Number five, we've talked about attaining maturity. Number five, pursue holiness. Pursue holiness. It says, first, uh, Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. The person who can call this verse, I'll give you 100 Ghana CD right now. I'm counting one. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. If you can quote I'll give you 100 Ghana City. One, two, three, four, five. Amen. It says, but in a great house, there are not only, you see, many of you, many of you see, Sahir, you do know the part you like in the Bible. I'm the head and not the tail. Arise and shine my ears, come. Holiness is our seat. And there are scriptures I sit down and I memorize them and I meditate upon it. For example, there's a scripture in First Timothy says, But you, O man of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, holiness. I, I, I let it sink in me. 
I let it sink in me. I, my wife and I, we had, there was a lady who was helping us at home. When she comes and, are you here? When she comes and she goes home, my, she came because of my wife. She comes and she go. When she goes, she won't call my wife. He sent me a message. Oh, daddy. The, the, the daddy has been embellished. Oh, daddy. Thanks. Uncle, th- Uncle thank you. Looks. Thanks so much. Then she go back and say, Hello, daddy. Hey, me. Me, me, do not me see me. Ah. Later, I found out she doesn't call my wife. So the one I'm praying, the miss my prayer, that's why she called. But because of, I pick. So one day, I was sitting in the car with her. We're going somewhere. And I said, sit at the back. So we're driving. We're going somewhere. We drove. Uh, when we go to the middle of nowhere, I stopped. And I said, ah, what did you say your name is? I did like, I forgot the name. I said, what did you say your name? He said, but, oh, daddy, but you me say, me say, what's within your friend saying? I said, your friend is so and then it will last warning. Me do you. And free me be what? The, the car, the car was silent. Because, you know, already, I want to say something because of something. I said, and then it will last warning. What? And free me, and free me be what? Me do me, you. I know, but I can't me, no, me. An old man of God, flee these things. Please you. You have to make conscious effort. He says, but in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth and some for honor. He said, if any man cleanses himself, he shall be a vessel. Unto what? Something good. Let me tell you something, my brother, my, my brothers and sisters. Without holiness, you won't bear fruit. Many women can't give birth because they have a certain kind of sickness one way or the other. The subject of holiness, we have belittled it and we don't talk about it. And we are in the church. God is on my side. And we are doing group dance. And we are sweating. And they are doing disco lights. Have you seen disco lights and we are dancing? Many of those people are in this disco light and dancing and dancing. They don't amount to anything. No. They, you can't. Listen, listen. You can't. The Holy Spirit is not going to give you songs like Snatch. Saturday morning, Saturday, Friday evening, you are drinking somebody's pems. Hey, you are saying, hey. <laughs> Friday evening, somebody's pems is in your mouth. And you want to come and say what? Holy Spirit, that's what. From, where is the Holy Spirit coming from? I think I have about 20 minutes here. Eh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Conquer! 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 Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Yes! Holiness is a very important. No, without holiness, no man. Look, look, me, I used to like some of you. You are not holy because of the songs you listen. Some of you are not holy because of the songs you listen. Some of you are not holy because of the friends you work with. Some of you are not holy because of the movies you are watching. Look at the movie you are watching. Uh, soap opera. La, La Bella La Glare. La Bella La Glare. Every five minutes they kiss. Then some woman will you remove her sexy leg. And it has been, because it is media, they've shined the neck. Okay. Hallelujah. Good. Okay, we are getting there. They've shined the leg. Then some sexy man will come. And you know their language too is very sexy. Hey! 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 Then you you see, do you know, do you know, do you know where they spot? Do you know where they spot the part? The man is the man is taking care of the co- uh, 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 horses. He's bare chested and six packs and some nice body. A lot of hair. Then you look at the lady and say. Legrinagas Palosh. Maria Vosele. Then the, the lady's eyes is glittering. Mm. And they are kissing with their tongues. Tongues kissing their mouth. Rubbing their mouth. And you are watching and you are getting erections. You are you are you say you are an elder in the church. There's pornography on your phone. Even right now, there's pornography. Ash! I wish that when we are singing the table, you can't sing some. 
when, when I tell you about Samson, they say, Shall I be weak? Oh, Male, oh, Male, oh, Male, oh, Male, you're not weak. You can't say about Samson. He said, He said, Paul, I know. Who are you? Listen, holiness, must, purity must come back to the church. And I believe that the Lord is raising Puritans. Light, darkness can never overcome darkness. One day, two people on a, they were on a foot. And the guy, he was like an elder in the church. Let's say, Reverend Newton, Apostle Tue and the rest, they are not around. It's like on any, the men guy around. So he was going to cast out the demon. He was casting, casting. Ah, then demon, the, the girl will be doing some things. The girl, like, she's full of immorality. Then, then, as we were casting, the guy said, I, the, then the guy said, I feel the power of God rise and let me go for my show. You know, these young people, the way they, they want to show power. Then he came with a show on his head. In the name of Jesus, come out. Then, then, the, then the demon started laughing. <laughs> then the whole place was quiet. <laughs> then the whole place was quiet. Then the demon laughed again. <laughs> then the demon started talking. You yesterday you were fornicating. The pressure, I don't know how it, it, it fell down like a woman's ring. That, that was the end of the meeting. That guy didn't return to the church again. Listen, the light shineth in darkness and all that. Your holiness is better than 50 hours of 50 hours of prayer without holiness. Holiness is better than knowing 100 scriptures without holiness. Holiness is better than 100, uh, 1 billion for the church. He said, what is this? this they, are, they, are, they are instance, they are an abomination to me. He said, what is this you have brought on my temple? You brought what seed? You are doing sucker, you are doing fraud. What, what, what is this? That is why today, check. What, what is happening in the body of Christ? I said, if you are going to attend the call of God on your life, you need to start cleansing yourself. That is why in the foundation of salvation, there is, there is, a, port, there is a, a door when you get it, it's called sanctification. We don't hear about these things. I see the Lord raising five millionaires here. Take it one, take it two. Oh my God, my God, my God. It's a young kingdom billionaires. Take it one. I see doors opening. I see people entering to police car. Wait, wait, umbe, umbe, umbe. And we are here still. So we are not seeing the millionaires. Go, you come. You know, go for you. You can't pay for us. You are saying you're a millionaire. Online prophecy, people are prophesying to you. Go, you come. Just 10,000 guns, you can't pay. This one to be a millionaire. Let's go back to the basics. Some of you are sitting here, sleeping with somebody's husband, paying your school fees. Stop. Yeah. Some of you boys, brothers, you are here. You, are, you, you donate your spams to get money and you've been sleeping around. You sleep with this one. Go for prostitutes to sleep with them to get spams. Stop. Some of you are you've been watching pornography. Some of you are watching listening to songs. Oh lo 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 lo. I was I went somewhere with some children. Uh, we're going on, you know, then they were singing and then the, the, the one boy said, Oh lo lo lo. Then the other one, like like a timo, the other one said, Bugai. Ah. So I me, you know, you know, um about I stopped. I didn't know, I didn't know in all sincerity. I didn't know secular music was not good. When I started growing the Lord about let's say let's say 12 years from now, one day I used to have this those days the computer, the one with the back. So it's my pressure, like I was a guy, young guy that I, like I was a guy. I had that hard one. Then I came back from church. I had bought Bishop, Bishop Black's CD, The Importance of a Soul. Immediately I sat down to listen. I heard those we said. Like someone was speaking to me. The person tapped said, If you want to get deeper with me, you can't listen to these songs. I knew it was speaking to me. Oh, I used to like songs by Westlife. An empty street, an empty heart, a hole inside my heart. Hey, moreover, ish. What, you know, you know, so that you can sing and you are imagining being in love with some lady, and you are walking with her, and she's falling down. You've carried her. Then I used to like Mark Anthony from the day that I met you, girl. Ish, I la. Saturdays when I sweep my room and tell him. Me me feel a two be with honey me chak still a be. I spray my room and I'm playing the song. Yes, I'm on top of the world. I didn't know that I was walking in bola bola. No knowing, no knowing what I felt it was the Holy Ghost. It was sweat, sweat, 
sweat on my face. It's not any Holy Ghost. I'm feeling anointed on sweat. Boil a sweat. So I took all my CDs and I deleted them. From today, I don't like. Up to that day, all the people, if you ever have an issue, if you, my, my children, when I leave them, they are watching something. When they, my, my son will come, hey, can, can you take the remote and change it? When you come, my, you come to my, and my, the other day I was sitting in the car with my son. He started singing. I heard him singing. Out of my belly shall flow. Some of you can't sing. He sang all the song. Yeah, then he sang another song. Uh, uh, a, a lot of spiritual song. Let me tell you something. A Christian who listens to secular music, you are far from. We are far from. He said, he said, you are far from the real substance. You see, you speak in tongues. Huh? So, the tongues you speak is just a measure of the spirit. So, you feel you are high. No. The, the Christ had the spirit without measure. If you want this without measure, the, when the dove he descends, he doesn't descend on in filth. Dove doesn't descend, come down and rest on filth. For the dove to rest somewhere, it must be a place of purity, cleanliness. There, there is a dimension of the spirit that will make you a teacher, a prayer warrior, a leader, a apostle, a prophetic. It will not come until you pay the price of holiness. Oh, some of you. He said, oh, I don't do it, but I touch a very small, smooch, smooch, smooch. Mm. Hey. Hey. My time is up. Let me preach now. The people, they want to beat me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number what? Number six. Are we learning? Are we learning? Number six. To attend to the call of God on your life, you must be planted. Everybody say Planted. Planted. Amen. John, listen to this verse so carefully. John 17, verse 21. John 17, verse 21. It says, John 17, 21. Quickly, I have, I have our 10 minutes. John 17, 21. Quickly, it says, they, they that, they, that, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that they, the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Amen. ICGC is what? ICGC is what? One. Pentecost is what? Presby is what? Beautiful House Ministry is what? One vision, one goal. When you, when my, my, my surname is Kofi. My wife is, my wife, her, you, when we come to our home, her surname, you find Kofi. My, you won't come at my home and find out that I am, uh, my first son has um, Calvary, Kofi. Then the second one is called uh, David Prince, I'm watching. And the last one is called Jubilee Apia. You know, when I say being planted, I mean many of us, we don't attend to the call of God upon our life because the ministry is a family that lives together, grow together, and bear fruit together. Some of you, you are in beautiful house, but your spiritual father is online. Prophet Dr. Asanka Koyoyo. Some of, some of you, you are in beautiful house. Some of you, you are in, we watch other churches here. Kingdom. But your kingdom pastor is not, you are not planted in the ministry with him. That, you see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I talk of being planted, eh, when something is planted at a place, let's say, you know, when we were kids, we used to plant tomatoes. And those days were bad, bad. We used to do bad things. So maybe you're planting tomatoes with your brother. When he's not there, you go and pull it. I mean, if I've done that before, you go and pull it and you put it back. Ah, the following day he comes and the thing is drying and yours is what? Growing. Many of us, we are not responding. Listen, listen. Lighthouse Chapel, Bishop Daki Wadmosh, Bishop E.A.T. Saki, Bishop Eddie Adi, and some people, they were planted. Boom! It bore fruits. Dr. Mason Tabo. Which, uh, prophets are not, they were planted together. It bore fruit. If your heart is not in DHM and you don't feel your calling is connected to, don't waste your time. Because you see, we are not, I will come to the next, where, when, I, when I bring to the next point, I'll bring to the next point where I tell that you attend to the call by giving yourself holy. That will cause your prophecy to appear because this is a serious thing. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are in your church. You, your church is at Adent Medina. You go and stay at Odoko. You say that I've left the church. Why? What? If your girlfriend is in Kaswa 
and she go and stays at Tema. Do you leave? Or do you break her because of she's going to stay there? Even in America, poor people are still married and they are there. You must be planted. Some of you, you are planted physically. But you see, ministry is spiritual. That is why in my interaction with some of the, my ships and the people I have, there are people even though when I see them, they laugh with me. My spirit tells me they are not with me. When somebody's with you, you will know that when somebody's with you, you don't look back. When you meet a the person, there is peace. You are not planted. You are not planted. And you see, the thing is that in planting as a family, when you see ships, they work together. Only snakes work differently. Some of you have become like snake. You, we don't, some of you, you are in BHM. Look, if you are in BHM, you've been here three years, four years. If I see Reverend Newton and I see you, I must know that you are, you are part of the family. There is something that's, there's a sibling nature. There's a genetic element that is on you. You know, today, I don't know why I'm talking about Pastor Prince. Ever since I got to know Pastor Prince, what he doesn't know, I have been monitoring him. Not, I've been, I pray for beautiful house ministry. Because you see, if we should beautiful house ministry grows, it's for my interest though. My selfish interest, forgive me to say. Yes. It's for my interest and for the body of Christ. So I'm always, I'm not, th- if my church alone grows and if oh, you, you have your church and things are well with you, when there's an issue, who come and stand by you? I have never, I've seen him put one or two things on his status. But most of the time, 99% of them is about his ministry. It's about his father. By you, your father in the church, your pastor, your, your church ministry, you won't put anything. <laughs> not, not once, not once will we see even anything concerning your church. Because your church is in the classroom. But who are despite the days of small beginning? Because only 15 people are sitting down. Do you think, be, I have heard uh, uh, Rev, uh, that, uh, 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 Reverend Newton telling me how where they started. Where they've been there, nobody comes. Nobody comes. Nobody comes. I said, if you're going to attend the call, you can't attend. To, uh, today, today you say you're an ICGC member. Today you say you're a lighthouse. So, wait, 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 how are you? That is why you're not bearing fruits. You see, you said something is, when you are building something, Look, we, where our church is at, it was a, like, a, like a land with wheat or tree so. But when you come, you see something that has been planted by a vision. A, a vision, a, the seed was a vision to build. And gradually, from foundation to walls, to pillars, to roofing, we we'll plaster, we we'll do window because it has been planted. We don't move the building here and move the building here. When you are not planted, you, you because the call, the call is never done in isolation. Forget about this online ministry. Online ministry is not a real ministry. And the people who are, who are protesting that the time will come, the church will not be in there. It is not true. Jesus said, I will build my church. You can't change the Bible. You cannot change the Bible. There will always be a physical element. And you must be part of it. You must be part of it. You must be part of it. If it is music ministry, you must be part of it. Yeah, you are in beautiful house ministry. Then when there's a meeting, I'm talking. You know, and uh, so uh, my 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 uh, 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 where I used to, every day you're talking about where, where where so where are you now? Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. You see, you think that look, look at this ministry. I I, I had the opportunity to go to uh, Bishop Eti Saki's office. Oh, the office, eh? It's like from here to here, golf and everything is there. You see, when we come together, and we are planted. We are able to do more. That is why Jesus said we should be one. Yeah. At the 80th birthday of Reverend Newton, I want to see Pastor Newton there. I want to see Pastor Prince there. Yeah, because we are family for life. But you, you are there, it's like, oh, because I'm going to school in this area, that's why. That is why you're not being free. Because you see, any girl, any guy, any lady that you know, you know, Maria, you spend on her. Will you spend on her? You, won't, you are not giving your best shoot because you know you are not planted. You'll be moving. Fair, fine, well, you can't do ministry in isolation. So find where God has placed you. So look, you are sitting here. No matter how you admire Arumi Osai, you cannot, you can never do ministry with him. No matter how you admire Selman, no matter how you admire Ben Yen, find where God has placed you. And Bible says that, and he was content. He was content to dwell with him. Be content to dwell there. Things will grow. Hallelujah. <laughs> quickly. Hey, I have five minutes. Quickly, quickly. Now my words. Number seven. Um, oh, mo, mo, mo. Number seven. Number seven. Are we learning today? Good. Number seven. Give that. Number seven. Give thyself early. Attend to the call by giving thyself early. Number seven. Number eight. Give thy. Number seven. Give thyself early. Early. Number eight. Give thyself holy. Number nine. 
Number seven, give thyself early. Number eight, give thyself holy. Number nine, give thyself with faith, hope, and love. Give thyself with hope. Attend to the call by attend, attend with faith, hope, and love. Number ten, attend with humility and faithfulness. Amen. Number seven, attend to the call of God on your life early. Hallelujah. Do you know, look at me. I'm finished teaching. I don't have time. One of the greatest regrets I have is that I didn't, the church that I was in, I didn't know anything about the calling. That is why you are very blessed. I believe that if I heard about calling and I was engaged on calling, by this time I would have caught fire. When I heard about, or I came to understand the call of God upon my life, it was too late. At a certain age, they, if you are Bishop Daki, what most, when he became a pastor and a medical doctor, he was 25 years. When they entered their first cathedral in Kolegono, the guy was 27 or 25 years. When they started their second branch in Switzerland, Switzerland, he, he, that was after three years. Yeah. I know a lot of things about Bishop because I follow him, my father. You don't know anything about my father. Yeah. I as at now, at his age, what he has been able to achieve. You see, ministry is not for elderly people. I'm just being honest with you. Min that is why Paul didn't marry. Do you know how my kids just having children? Do you know that today? I, today I started praying. I woke up at ten thirty, started praying, and I prayed. I sleep small ten minutes, get up, prayer four o'clock, four thirty. I woke my kids up. I've got something alone. I bag them, brush their teeth, iron their dress, put them on, take them to school. From here, I have to go and pick them up. So when you at the age of twenty, some some of you are sitting here. You, some of you, you are not serious. Oh. You dispatch your church not because your church is not your pastor is not a good pastor. Oh. You are not serious. Your pastor is done his best. When he goes to heaven, you get his reward. I said, you go to a church like Lighthouse, Madagascar, all the way in Madagascar. A young guy who is 24 years has started a church and the church has grown and he's building a cathedral. Go to Rwanda, 27 years boy, has started a church. You are here, 32. We, you, can, you can't even do cell meeting. Oh. Now be Jujube this. Ah! Ah! Oh. 37 years. And you are now, now you are 30, now that you are 38 and you have come. Don't let me go empty. 40 years, 45. When you, how many, when you say we are going for full up, say, oh, it's okay. The people now, they will come. The only disperse himself will bring them. This ministry is not going to give you, it's not going to give you, oh my lady, it's going to give you. He said, go into high the hell with and compel them that they may come in. You need a certain kind of giddy giddy. Uh, we all the all the all the all the demons in uh, Madina, we bind you, we bind, we bind you, we bind. No! Kaliba Balada! Bright, 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 bright! Kabo, Shaba, Pali, Bara, Basuaba, Papa, 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 but if he maintains his faithfulness and his humility in the core, by the age of 20, uh, if we add 20 years to him, he would have brought many sons under him in the same ministry. Beautiful. And do you know, do you know why many, many, many people, they are not encouraged to do ministry? Many people didn't attend the call early, so they, even the, the, blessings, the, the blessings in it, they didn't see their father enjoying some. Because a, a ministry stands at a certain age, a ministry's maturity and it blessings start coming maybe from the seventh year. So even so, if you're here in your age of twenty and you start ministry by the seventh year, which means you enjoy more. That is why Bishop that seems to have to enjoy more. Yeah, but you are at the age of forty. We even get discouraged. Attend early. They know that don't talk. Give yourself holy. When he say give it, but Paul said that give thyself holy. Then that prophets may appear to all. Today, today you come for seven. Today you won't come. Church organist, you have to beg you and beg you. You're not giving yourself holy. You're not giving your worship, worship and praise leader. Today, when you come, pastor, we are having leaders. Pastor, Ovane, Yema Bae, Enimima, Imami Kel Chongbale, Oh, I'm your very last week. So, you start, we, give yourself. Look, look, when you meet a lady that you love and you want to marry, my time is up. You, when, when you, the reason why, the reason why the lady that you love, the reason why the reason that you love her, the reason why you didn't maintain as a girlfriend, you, you went further to get her married, uh, to get married to her because you wanted something whole. And the wholeness has born for that's why you have a family. I have a family. My children also give birth. I have children and it is growing. But many of you don't give yourself holy. Some of you, when you have money, then you are doing ministry. When you are broke, Gabby, you won't come to church. 
when you have money, when you say, Oh, Reverend, Reverend Till, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Reverend Till, the message was powerful. God, listen, give yourself holy. Give your time. Give your money. Give your strength. Give your resource. Give your energy. It will grow. Your profit will appear. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the office of a certain young man in Ghana who is making name in the, name in the hell. I was in his office. When I entered up, he was telling his story. He said, many people left me. So now we don't know. He told me he's making his a lot of he's making a lot of names. He said many people left me. That's the first thing he told me. I don't know whether he was even prophesied to me. And he said, I used to sleep on wood, wood platform. But he said, I give myself holy. When we say come and pray, let's pray. It will profit. It will profit. If you start the business, you start small, small, pure water, soon to become something big. But it will take a certain sign of giving. A certain sign of giving. Even medical food, you don't have if you want to a woman, you want to be pregnant, you don't have sex just for one so A week have to do like four. You know, and I'm looking for baby girls. So what, what do you think? Shh. No, so that the anointing comes and you're walking a change. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, and then, uh, then, then, and then I said, attend to the call quickly. I'm round now. Attend to the call with faith, with faith, hope, with faith, hope, and love. Hallelujah. Because listen, when beautiful has started five minutes, five years ago, maybe you know there are people who have left because they didn't see any hope. Will any good thing come out of Nazareth? Will any good thing attend to? Because you see, when you are going, if you are going to join the team to do ministry, you need to have hope, and you need to do it with faith. We are going to start a branch, Pastor. But are you not rushing? Hey, Pastor, I don't think it will work. Oh, every day you are cold. We are going for camp. Oh, Pastor, powerful. We are going for camp. Eh, hey. but Pastor, will they come? And I can't. Oh, people who go at work, oh, you are always negative. You are always negative. You are the you are the elder. You are the you are the assistant of your pastor. When your pastor is sister, instead of you to have an encouraging spirit of faith, then your sister. Um, um, uh, uh, as as you you know, you don't have anything to say. Oh, but, but once Papa has spoken, no, that's fine. You are negative. Go away. We don't want you. Hallelujah. Love. Hey, uh, oh, uh, Prophet you, Prophet Steve. Oh, Papa, Papa, God bless you so much. But you know you don't love him. Pastor of mommy, oh, let me hold your bag. Hey, pastor of mommy, when I see something, you but you know, you, you, you gossip, you speak. You see, we can't attend to the call of God upon us without love. Because the, the, you can't, you can't, Reverend Newton can be, can be the person only here at BHM. This is my church, I'm the only one here. He will work with Ato, Kwame, Ama, and there must be love. There must be love. There must be faith. There must be hope that today we don't have anything. But one day we'll have our own lands. One day we'll have our own house. One day we'll have our own car. One day our children will be blessed. There must be hope. There must be love. We come together. We come together. Push up that God most. Push up that God most of lighthouse. He said, We started a ministry. And I told EAT, I met Bishop EAT Saki. And at the Adia I said, We are going to work for God. He said, Let's do full time. He said, They went to his father's office. He said, We started full time. There was no job. There was nothing. But he said, God will look after us. And day one, and day two, and day three. And the years are gone by. And God has proven himself faithful. It will take faith, hope, and love. And our ministry will be established. Then finally, finally, pardon me. Please pardon me. Finally. We must attend to the call of God on our life with humility and faithfulness. Humility and faithfulness. It about that it is required that it still will be found faithful. You be humble towards your pastor. You are too proud. Do you know? Do you know the evidence that you are proud? Do you know the evidence that you are? What is the evidence that somebody is humble? When you say somebody is humble, my wife is holding this bag. Then somebody comes and say, "Oh, mama, please let me hold your bag for you." Do you, have to, oh, no, the, you see, even though it's, it's just a little sign of humility, do you know the real sign that you are humility? You have, you are humble. A humble person is not offended, and a humble person can be rebuked. Uh, Prince, come to my office. Prince, I ask you. You know, nobody smiles all the time. So, Prince, when I, when when you go into the castle, I don't say this. What is that? Prince, th- listen. This, the, this uh, Prince, you do you hear what I'm saying? Prince can say, Daddy, yes, it's true. What you are saying is true. I'm, 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 I'm sincerely sorry. It will not happen again. Please we'll work on it. Then Prince will leave. Then the following day, Prince will call and say, Daddy, please, um, yes, he spoke to me and office. Yes, um, I just want to let you know that I received the word that I'm sincerely sorry. It will not happen again. But another person is not. When, when his pastor is talking to him, Prince, uh, are you not?
know who I'm talking to? Uh, are you not who I'm talking to? But, yeah, but you're talking, I'm listening. Then, then, then when they finish talking, he, so, he won't say anything. No. They will just, and you bang the door in a certain way. Then you go. When you go, even, even, you see, even the things you see where nobody hurts you. David said, when the guy came and said, that, Have you heard Saul is dying? Let's finish him. He said, Were you not afraid? Were you not afraid? Saul was not there. Saul was not there. But David is so, he's so rare. The guy is so different. Saul was not there. But he said, Were you not afraid that the lost are not there? He said, Were you not afraid? Some of the things we see about our pastor and their wife and their family, your pastor has gone to have issues. Is your issue? Your pastor's wife is your issue. Let me tell you that without faithfulness and humility, humility, because it takes humility to say that, get up and come. He said, I am a leader. I have people after me. I said, This one, go and you go. Many of you, your pastor cannot tell you to go and go. Many of you, even when your pastor gives you his shirt, he's worn. You go and throw it away. Say, ah, but, Bibin so. Bibin so. Pastor Ejima, yeah, baby. Mimi Ejima, banko. Or the shirt, mam, damn shirt. Eba, rough. Eba, nonsense, sudi. Or the you know, or the you know, but, mam, shirt, yeah. But, do you know, do you know why he's giving the shirt? Elisha cried, my father, my father. And he took his words. He took his words. He took his word. I have seen prophets at the favor of lighthouse. A man who is making a lot of where we see you. And then I'll go to turning point and he's wearing Bishop that shed. Big on him. He won't go even into alteration. He will go and beg Bishop that give me your shed. I won't sleep with it. When you are when you are proud, you don't see and you don't hear. Many of many of you, many of you, many of you have been running from one church to another because of your pride. You can't be spoken to. Look at you, don't you poo-poo? Don't you wee wee? Don't you flash? And your flash smells. Who are you? What have you achieved? People have achieved something. Do, do, do you know how much it costs to buy this? Do you know how much this thing? People have achieved something, Claudia. They, they, they are humble, but you are not humble. Some of you are soft for mommy. Go and see how you talk to your husband. No, have you seen, have you seen that all your friends, all your friends, their husband's ministry are growing big and you alone you are. It's not, you be humble and bring peace. Be faithful. Be faithful. We send you to go and start a brand church. For the first day we told you to go and start the brand church, you have said in your heart that when I go and take over the church, it will never be well with you. It will never be well. Nobody will take somebody's church that will be well with you. It will never. If you are here, you've taken over somebody's church or you have the heart, go and repent. And hand over the church and go and start your own. Go and start brand church. Now you go and start brand church. You're going to form a, 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 a cycle of people. That's why. We, well, Bishop Dak is in Ghana here. And the castle campus. There's somebody at Papua Guinea. There's somebody at Latabio Hoshi. It is not that this man sitting here is not anointed. It is not that I have. There's a young man here. There's a young man of God, um, uh, ran, ran the impact on the Ebris stretch. In four years of ministry, he has established about close to about forty branches. It is. It is not that she, uh, uh, we thank God for what the Lord is doing for his life. But if the people that he has sent them, do you think they are not faithful? Anything will work. It is required. Man, we are faithful. We must be faithful to one another. We must be faithful to one another. We must, and in the ministry, you stop comparing yourself to your pastor. You can't sit in the same chair with the Mr. Otabel. No. No. The Dr. Mr. will have his chair. And prophets are not also have his chair. But it is not the same chair. Even in heaven, it's not the same. He told Aaron. He said, Aaron. He said, Moses, I have made you a God to Aaron. And he said, hey, Moses, I have made you a God to Aaron. I have made, I God. We are, the, we are all human, but I have made one higher. John the Baptist, he will come from his above me. We need faithfulness. We need faithfulness. We can't leave the church for you. We can't ask you to organize and keep it. When we put you in place of cell, you sell me to you. won't go. You have become like owner. When you have sex with a woman, you spill it because it's not your church. You don't care. It's not me. It's not my church. I've not started ministry. You don't care. I've not. I mean, he's in his ministry. His ministry. His ministry. His ministry. His ministry. His ministry. You say. His ministry. You say. That is why you. That is why you can't amount to anything. All the people around Bishop that who have amounted to men of God, great men of God, they saw the thing that like, it is us. We are together. And let's do it together. They were all faithful. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Let's pray. Please, can I take 10 minutes? Thank you. Let's pray. Talk to the Lord this morning or afternoon. What has he said? Ten, pray. Pray. 10 minutes. Pray. Pray. Kalabaha. 12 6 exactly 12 12 I'm putting it down lebolo koshe mandolo bokosha barazita prahasoke makabri adua saprahadi le resomba chiva baragasata i can't hear you barahadosha le rababa baba clap your hands and pray rababa baba re kabalosha 
Mandala Baragada, Bariosa, Reba Baba Baba, Rabos, Leo, Sao, 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 Miadosha, Lebala Bada Bada, I can hear you, Malosha, Reka Bala Bada, Machinaba, Machuno Bolaba, Lebala Balelo Soko Nasha, Lee Soba, Lee Soba, Raba Baba 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 Chilabalo, Rekabosha, attend to the call of God on your life. Rekalabalaba, Rebaba Badosha, Marchidia, Jala, 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 Rabba de Bede 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 Bede, Rebaba Baba Baba, Rabba Baba 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 Libao, 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 Rabba, Baba, 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 Ajede, Ragadosha, Kolo, Parabaswada, Rekele, Rekele. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Captain of his dress, sing it with meaning. Lift up your hand and lift up your heart to him. Of all who seek the land, yes, Lord. Above, Do you see the land above? Beneath thy shadows be above. He will use you. And clouds of thy protecting love. Oh Jesus, thy grace, It's happening. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. The call. The call. The call. The call. Right now, it's happening. The call. It's coming now. It's coming down. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I see twelve people. 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 Receive it one. Receive it now. I see twelve people. I see twelve people. I see them. I see them. I see them. Maku shahada. Libuku tu zahada ba legezega. Linga da ba kucha kadanza. Limba la gasunta ba vante gade. Limba la gasunta la ba adikida. Ili baragatunza ba adia. Re kalibro shakwa. Re swahaba. Lift up your hands. Lord use us. 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 Raise an army, Lord. 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 I have three minutes more. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see people being given touches. I see people being given touches. I see an army, I see an army. I see an army, I see an army. I see an army. I see again an ancient mantle. An ancient mantle from the cocoon of glory. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. I see people being given mantles. I see people being given mantles. My God, my God, I see mantles falling. I see mantles falling. I see mantles falling. I saw apostles. I saw apostolic mantle. By the count of two, take it one. Take it one. I saw apostolic mantles. Malucho koba lagasika. Amichi nika la balaga. Lebo lo kuchuku nakata. Liga la balaga changa. Lebo la balaga. Ah, this year, this place. I just saw a white cloth. Me usa to my fita tobiso. Me usa to my fita tobiso. By the count of three. One. Take it now. Two. Me usa to my fita tobiso. Ah, my God, my God. My God, I see an apostolic. Machina, 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 machina. One minute more. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. I saw three people here. The Lord is sending you to war. I saw the close your eyes. I saw three people here. I saw them receiving prayer mantles. By the count of seven, it's happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Receive it. Receive it. I saw you going to war. 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 This place. This place. I see church planters and revivalists. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Bring them. Holy Ghost. Bring them. Holy Ghost. Bring them. Holy Ghost. Use them. Holy Ghost. Bring them. Holy Ghost. Use them. Holy Ghost. Bring them. Holy Ghost, use them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What Reverend Newton Karish for this meeting? We have not even entered into it yet. I said, What the man of God Karish for this meeting? We have not entered into it yet. Ah, ah, I just saw people drinking water. I saw people drinking water out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your belly, 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 out of your belly. We didn't come to play anymore. We didn't come to play anymore. Go, go and win the battle. We didn't come to play anymore. It's for go and fight. Go and fight. Go and build the churches. Go and build the churches. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Friends, come. I need to pray for you. I'm done. Masuda, please, you have oil here. I'm done. I need oil. I need oil. Mosima Haga. Mama, mama. Mama, mama. For life. For life. Priesthood. For life. Priesthood for life. I see a stage. I see a church room. And I see a mounted altar. And I see you wearing a black shoes. My God. 
If the uh, Malu Shakata, Malu Shakata, Malu Shakata, Malu Shakata, be in your place, be in your place with BHM, in BHM, with a man of God, with the anointed man of God, you shall go places. Losa, Losa, I just saw a cloth, and I, I saw the cloth, and the cloth at the edge of the cloth, it was golden, it was golden. The Lord said, Riches, I saw it cover him. I saw the cloth cover him. The angel of the Lord covered it with him. I saw the angel of the Lord cover him with the cloth. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. In this year, you shall enter into a new dimension of power as you submit to power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands. This is what the Lord of Spirit of God said that she say to all of you. Love. 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 Love your pastor. Pastor, love the chiefs. Chiefs, love your pastor. Love one another. Love one another. And remain in your place. For therein the Lord shall bless you. Shall bless you. Shall bless you. Fear not. Look not at the storm. Look not at the sea. Look not at it. For I, Jesus, I walk upon the storms of life. And I hold your hands. Yes. Yes. Stand. Stand and fight for me. Remain faithful to my work. Don't give up. Don't give up. Remain faithful to my work. And I'll honor you. And I'll bless you. It has come to stay. Pastors. Pastors. Let's support this vision. Support it. Support it. Support it. Support it. Let's make it bigger and stronger. For I'll go ahead of you. I'll go ahead of you. And I will build my church on a rock. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glad for the Lord.